All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol ZOM, Zoomatica Corp. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back. And as we dive into this chart, I want every single investor and viewer to be aware that I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys towards the end of this video that you definitely want to have on your watch list if you don't have it already. Now, if you want to know live updates, on what I'm watching before I share it on any other platform weekly and also throughout the week you can join us in the private community the link is down below in the description over at patreon click on it you'll be redirected and you'll see all there is to offer now there's also more information to come over time I'm developing it over time right now but one of the main things you get an opportunity to receive is exclusive content before it's released anywhere else so definitely check it out if that's something that interests you now here we are zoom medica corp ran up from yesterday's lows right yesterday's lows was way down here at 133 then it was kind of just sitting at the 190 mark and then just took off all the way up to new highs here of 226 very nice setup here and the fact that it's slightly above two dollars is awesome but it's dropping pretty fast guys it's dropping pretty fast so we need to watch this closely could this continue to pull back tomorrow we'll need to see now as i was doing this our resistance level hasn't changed but our support has it just broke through support 201 super important because the 50-day moving average is two dollars and this stock should hold itself up above two dollars if it doesn't it could slightly collapse now i'm not saying it's a terrible collapse it could probably be an opportunity because march is coming up and march is going to be a big month so if you don't know why march is big i mean you definitely don't know anything about zoom and i'm, I'm not trying to offend anyone or anything like that if you're in zoomedica you you want to know this and if you're researching zoomedica you want to know this even more so why is march so important well the true form of medical device is going to be launched okay and it's supposedly big game changer in the industry it's a smaller more compact size but it's limited on what it can do compared to its competitors but it's a starting point for zoomedica to take a market share in this area and all you can think about is how much more it could grow over time right well Zoomatica has that going for them going into March. So right now, there's a lot of rockiness overall in the market. And then Zoomatica itself, because there's no crazy news or excitement right now. If anything, things are kind of just preparing themselves for that moment. So in March, the only thing that can make this run up or move in the upward direction is the anticipation and excitement of that product. So next month is going to be very interesting and if it doesn't make this stock even move at least 10 cents up from wherever it's at as it's getting closer to the end of march because true forma will be launched on march 30th then true forma certainly isn't a big deal as everyone has been saying as all the articles have been saying and now what we need to wait for is revenue and that's what's going to make it the big deal that it really is so that's where it gets a little risky like any other stock to keep that in mind so march is going to be big and if it's not big it's going to be a big revelation to everyone to realize okay well the true form of medical device yeah very important but it didn't do much that means that now this stock actually needs to produce numbers produce revenue off of this product to prove itself i'm not saying that it's completely destroyed it still has an opportunity but the true form of medical device anticipation wasn't as big as expected or as stated in every article and analysis ratings. But we'll see how it goes. But right now, things are pretty stagnant. When you zoom out, yes, it's been going downwards. But the most important thing is for this to hold itself up in $2, just broke through it. And the next support is down here at 180. I think that's one of the most important support levels as well to keep in mind based off the history of the chart so the new support level as we're talking is right here at this point let's zoom on in 
to get it to the T. And that is right here, not that far from the current price. And that is 199 to the hundreds and thousands place. The next support level, if that continues to go downwards, is right here at this point at 189, right? Based off of this point right here before the run. So 189 would be your next support level. You want to watch it carefully. And our 50-day moving average is $2. We're currently slightly below it. And if we continue downwards, this could be on its way to newer lows. And 189 is the point of reference you want to watch carefully. Now, on the other hand, what the bulls want to break through, which is the highest point before this continue to dip, is right here at 213. The bulls need to break through this point. I want every single investor and viewer to be aware of this. 213 needs to be broken through, turn into a support so the bulls can pull upwards to reach newer highs, new resistance levels, and get deeper into bullish territory, pulling further away from the 50-day moving average, and continue this upward momentum. As always, guys, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned to the end because I have a ticker symbol you won't want to miss. And you definitely want to have it on your watch list if you don't have it already. So for everyone that has made it to this point in the video, if you're interested in receiving live updates on what ticker symbols I'm watching weekly or within the week as they come up, you can join us over at the private community and Patreon. The link is down below in the description. And if you can not find it down below, you can come to my main page here of the channel and right next to the welcome video, the Patreon link should pop up. Now, once you click on it, you will be redirected over to the Patreon page. And this is a community of investors within a financial community that we're going to talk about stocks to add to your watch list. And I will be talking about what attracted me to them and giving you guys updates on what I'm seeing. So if you want to know more information, live updates before anywhere else on any other platform it's talked about, you can join us over in the community here at Patreon. Let's go ahead and jump into this chart and see what ticker symbol you guys want to go ahead and add to your watch list. So the ticker symbol you want to add to your watch list is AMWL, American Well Corp. Now we've talked about it several times in the past in our videos. And the first time I talked about it was back in December. I caught it here, hitting its highs here of $30. I told everyone, watch this closely. If it pulls back, it started to pull back and level off. And then it ran up and then it pulled back again. Once I saw that pull back, I did want every single investor and viewer to be aware of this one because obviously on the way up, we needed to watch closely how it was reacting. And it went all the way down to $24 and some change. And I wanted to pay close attention to see what's going on. It continued to run and I was caught up with so many other ticker symbols. I did not get a chance to talk about it around this area. Now I saw it run up to $40 and some change and then it fell right back down. And as soon as I saw that pullback, I wanted every single investor and viewer to watch this closely for consolidation or a pullback. Now it did consolidate pretty strong and it was looking pretty healthy within this area after I talked about it towards the end of January, but the month of February has been pretty rocky overall in the market and this stock has been plunging down now for those of you that are not aware of what sector this is in well this is part of the telehealth sector so i definitely recommend doing more research on ticker symbol amwl american well corp but if you were to go ahead and confirm what is something that's comparable to this stock obviously i'm not saying it's the same exact thing it would be something like Teladoc. Now think about Teladoc's right market capitalization and also their total entire price per share and market, right? So their market cap here is 36 billion. Their price per share is $254, right? So I'm not saying that it's going to be the same exact graph and exponential growth. But it just shows us the potential. This is a $36 billion company. And American Well is a $6 billion company. So there's room here for American Well to grow. 
over time, especially as telehealth becomes more normalized and it's becoming a norm to go ahead and do telehealth instead of sitting right in an office, in a waiting room, if you don't really need to see in person or see like a, you know, a lesion or something physical, if anything, like a routine checkup, that's going to become the norm for telehealth. So American Well Corp is definitely one to add to your watch list and pay close attention to, especially as it's dipping and it's below, right? Those prices, the first time I caught it, it's almost falling back to this area where it consolidated and it is below the last time I spoke about it again when it was around $35 after hitting this high of $43. So we've already seen this stock's price action and what it's capable of. So there is room here. Now, I have the RSI up on the 30 minute and it's showing like a recovery, right? And you could see that the RSI is also showing that it's pulling back up the MACD. But let's go ahead and put the one day chart. And I want you guys to see something here. The one day chart in the RSI, it was hitting new lows and it's kind of bouncing back here, kind of like a sideways movement. You can see it right there and it hasn't hit oversold. Now, once it hit that peak, it did hit overbought. And since then it's been falling and you could see here in the MACD that it's not finished with the downward trend or it hasn't leveled off. So this is the time to watch this one carefully as things continue to play out. And anything in the oversold section may start to look like an opportunity. But keep in mind, with the way the market is, things could continue to go lower. This is definitely one to add to your watch list and keep a close eye on. Big opportunity in this sector. I'm not saying it's going to be just like Teladoc, but it has opportunity. And its market cap is around one-fifth right, of the teledoc market cap you can see it right there actually one six right six times six equals 36 so if you were to multiply this number by six it gives you an idea of what opportunity and room there is there for that stock to grow into but we're gonna have to see how much of the market share this starts to obtain and as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money